morning super cool party people and welcome back to the vlog it is tuesday today it is about quarter after seven the vlog is going up and my blog is also posted so that's like super exciting my hair is also still wet i clipped it up last night so that i don't know i don't even know i don't know how to deal with curly hair i just don't even know how to deal with hair i'm like if i can ponytail it or put it on a bun we're doing all right anyway I feel like I've had a pretty good start to the day. I think I slept better last night than I have for the last couple nights, but I mean, we'll see as the day goes on. I am working, hopefully not too long today. I'm working with somebody else again today because it's just like, there is so much stuff to do in my department right now. And with already working six days a week, I was like, I don't know if I can fit this thing in. And this one particular project is very necessary. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm getting someone in with me. So they're going to take care of like the normal daily stuff. And I'm going to work on this project. So that'll be good because I was like, I might be able to get in if I work eight hours today, but I can't even guarantee that. And then I was looking at next week, but it's like so busy at the theater that I just can't get in to do it. So yeah, so it is what it is. But I should probably get dressed here shortly because it's getting later and later as the day goes on and that's about it i don't know i'm hoping that today when i get home i can be very productive i want to set up my writing goals i don't need to write i just want to set up my writing goals i wouldn't mind embroidering something because i really enjoy that i was going to do something yesterday but i was really struggling with um getting the pattern transferred so i just gave up and did nothing but it's fine so that's where we're at i'm going to turn on the overhead lights because that'll wake me up a little bit more find some clothes maybe make my bed if i have time just like chill just gonna chill alrighty so that hand was like a little aggressive there <laughs> i am back from work now it is a quarter after 12 only worked till 12. it was actually nice i'm really happy with how everything went today because some days it, i've just i've been feeling really overwhelmed at the theater lately just because my department has grown for one and also the demands on it have grown a little bit uh just like as you know we're busier I have less time and as we're busier there's just more people and yeah so anyway I'm happy with how everything went feeling pretty jazzed about life talked to my aunt today I haven't seen her for a while but I suggested to her the um tart drink of h2o hydrating boost which I love like, I swear by this moisturizer um I suggested it to her because she has troubles finding moisturizers because of skin issues and everything so when i ordered something from tarte i got a sample of that so it's like a decent size you can try it for a while like a little pot and she said she's been trying it and it's great it hasn't broken her out it hasn't irritated her she hasn't had a reaction so that's super exciting so i'm very happy to hear that and plus like it just feels so nice anyway my mom went to the pottery place and she picked up our things today and so that's really exciting they never called me which was really weird because they were they were like oh yeah the kiln's gonna be full so it should be done right away but they never called us and I definitely lost my receipt <laughs> uh, so she called today and they said it was good so she went and picked up our stuff she did a try bowl thing it's downstairs though so I don't want to go get it but I'm pretty pretty happy with how he turned out especially considering half the time I couldn't see what I was painting so you know not bad I'll have to find a cute place for him to chill in the house I've been thinking about maybe getting like a paint pen and doing the different sections but I don't know we'll see I, I think he's pretty all right so today the plan the immediate plan is going to be to feed myself I think because I'm a little bit hungry there's some leftover pork chops and some leftover potatoes from dinner the other night so I'll probably just go with that and then I want to figure out my editing goals so we'll we'll work through that later basically it's just a matter of me figuring out how many words are in my story currently dividing it by the number of months going oh my goodness that is not reasonable and then just setting an arbitrary goal <laughs> so that's what we'll do later on and um I've been really into my book lately i'm reading cress which is the part of the lunar chronicle series if i didn't mention it before no i know i've mentioned it uh but i don't really remember much of cress apparently i do know i read it because i know that i read the end which introduces the next character or mentions the next character in a way uh but i can barely remember this so it's kind of nice it's exciting i ended up reading longer than my usual uh half an hour last night <laughs> just, oh hitting everything just because i wanted to 
catch up because normally I read five chapters every day and I had only read like three or four chapters the day before and I was like mm, I gotta read these five chapters because otherwise I'll be like wait where did I start and I'll never remember and then I'll just keep reading forever because that's what I do I really like reading this is why I must limit myself so I want to read I was thinking about embroidering something I don't know what I want to embroider but perhaps come up with something I was thinking maybe stitch from Lilo and Stitch or I don't know. I'm really liking that blue fabric that I used for Dr. Draken, so I want to just keep using that fabric. Uh, and then at some point I need to get a storage solution for those things. I think what I'll do is I'll just embroider a bunch and then just hoop them when I feel like it. Because buying hoops is like, it's not expensive. They're only like $3 a hoop, I think, but it's pricey when you're buying like a lot. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Maybe I should just embroider things that don't need to go in a hoop. Like that can go in frames or something instead. Hmm. Anyways, I'm just rambling now. I need to go get food because my stomach's starting to go <laughs> prime impersonation <laughs> and I will check in with you in a bit. Like a bird on a tree. I'm really quite chilly right now and I'm just like I look like some weird professor or something with my cardigan and my turtleneck scoop neck I guess no wait what are these called scoop neck does maybe it's scoop neck anyway so I set up for that last shot where I was trying to figure out how many words I needed to do in a day to finish the entire thing in a month and it was like just a whole lot of disaster because I used my tripod which you're sitting on right now but I had to make it like full size and there's not a lot of room in here and so I set up I'm like aha perfect positioning and then I was like ah, how am I supposed to get to the other side so I crawled underneath which because I've been doing a little bit of weights and stuff my upper thighs the front part I don't know what that muscle it's um they're a little sore so that was a bit of a struggle so like I crawled underneath and I got to the other side I'm like oh how do I get back up but I did and I managed and then all was well and I was like I'm gonna do some long division and I was like I don't remember how to do long division with two numbers I have a feeling that you need to do like one first and then the other one after and then like add the numbers together or something I don't know but I couldn't remember how to do it and I would have sat there for way too long without remembering so we just used the calculator so it said 4885 point something 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 or something like that is what I need to do every day to hit my goal of finishing the next edit of this book in one month time so that is a lot of words it's not unmanageable for sure let's talk about some things that are going to make it a bit of a struggle one I'm getting up at 6 in the morning now to edit my vlog, which takes up basically the entire time in the morning if I have to work before I go to work. I mean, I can get a blog post in there usually too, but that time is committed to that, so I can't add writing time there. I'm going to sleep around 10 o'clock at night, so that is a firm deadline. So my time, I don't have as much time as I usually would. In the past when I've been editing, I have been like, all right. I'm gonna stay up till 2 in the morning and edit, but I'm not doing that anymore. And so that may be a problem. So we'll see how it goes. 5,000 words in general is really overly ambitious. Mm, well, when you're editing, it's not so bad. If I was writing it, that'd be stupid, but we'll see how it goes. Work's gonna be busier next month, so we'll see how it goes. But I have faith. I just need to like maneuver things around. My new challenge for the month of February also is 30 minutes of requiring me to like sit at a desk or something so the good news about that is I don't need to go anywhere at least but yeah I don't know I feel like it might be a bit of a struggle but I'm ready to take that challenge I really kind of want to nap if we're being honest it's 2 30 and I really shouldn't nap but I am struggling a lot so I don't have much in the books for today Fig figuring out my goals as like little time as that took me was kind of the big thing for me like just okay what are we setting up with? It is only the 28th, so I still have a couple days until February hits. And I really need to focus on that. I cannot stop yawning. Oh, wow. So, like, I've got time. I could work on it in advance if I want to. We're good. We're, as I would say, gucky. We're gucky. <laughs> because Gucci looks like it's felt gucky. I am uncultured swine. <laughs> anyway, so I figured that out. I might embroider something. I'm just so cold. I just want to like curl up in my bed with a blanket around me and just like sleep. 
<laughs> Didn't I just say I don't want to do that? Um, I think I might do some reading though, so just like a blanket and get some music on and just like... And if I fall asleep, so be it. Hopefully I won't, but I think that's what I'll do next. And then I can just spend the rest of my night chilling, watching some Survivor or whatnot and embroider some things or play video games or something. Let's get the, let's get the work done first because <laughs> readings work and um, go from there. I should also take out my garbage at some point, but if I'm cold inside, I will be more cold outside. So I'm just gonna, it'll be fine. <laughs> Stitch is coming along well. I really like this um, air erasable pen, but I have to keep drawing it and every time something's a little different, but it's fine. I did them a bit darker than I normally would be because I was just going to do it all in the dark color and I decided I'm going to add like the pinks and the light blues, but I don't know. He's pretty cute. I also want to show my life hack here. My laptop has a magnet there and there to close it and so that's where I keep my needle when I'm not using it. Ha ha! Anyway, it is currently quarter after five and I'm just chilling. I'm feeling really good about things. I really don't have anything that I'm aspiring to accomplish today. I'm just trying to get my list. Let's see. Yeah, I mean taking my garbage down is about the height of my productivity that will happen today. If it happens, because again, it's cold outside and it's probably raining outside now, so I might just continue to chill inside, but I'm pretty happy with this dude. I feel like if I stick with it, I can probably finish it tonight, which is awesome. I'm also like getting near the end of this Survivor season. I'm watching um, Fans vs. Favorites, Micronesia. Yeah, I only have like two episodes left after this one. I've seen it before, I know how it ends, but I'm just going through all my old Survivor ones. I'm kind of waiting for um, season 40 to come out so I can buy that and watch that, but because I have a gift card from Christmas for iTunes, I've slowly been chipping it away with, blah, blah, I've slowly been chipping it away with it. I've slowly been chipping away at it. There we go. Those were the right words. Kept trying to throw in with for some reason. With a couple songs and stuff I've bought, but it's still almost enough to cover a season, which is awesome. But on the other hand, there's a couple seasons that I haven't seen that maybe I just want to get and watch because it's a great thing just to keep my mind going while I am embroidering. I was, it's hard because Survivor, you don't really need to pay attention when you're watching it, but some other stuff, like, you kind of do need to pay attention. So I like it because it's kind of like a mindless thing. Like, you don't need to be, like, laser focused. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll watch something. on. I haven't watched anything on Netflix for what feels like forever. I have just been Disney plusing it up. It's fine. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to update. I'm really happy with how Stitch is turning out. I might even add like little hearts above his head like it was in the inspo picture I found. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go now because I'm starting to get hungry. So maybe dinner should happen. Alrighty, so it is about eight o'clock now. I've been working on Stitch and watching Survivor. He's coming along pretty good there. I gotta do his nose and some details. I also screwed up right here. There's supposed to be a blue line that goes down, so I'm gonna have to rip out all that pink there, but he's pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with him, so that's good. I just don't feel like working on it anymore tonight, which is totally fine because I spend a couple hours on that. It's just super cute, though. Anyways, I think one of the things that takes me a little bit longer is the pen because I have to keep redrawing the dry erase pen, but there are some, what are they called? They're like Pilot Frickson 
pens that are heat erasable so I could just iron them off after which I think would be way better for me because as great as these are that they are air erasable it'd be nice to just have those I think I've got them in my Amazon cart if I recall correctly because I looked for them in store and I couldn't find them of course I didn't look very hard because it was before I looked at what they looked like online and so I had no idea anyway I'm gonna spend a little bit of time tidying my room because that happened. It's mostly just a tripod, but I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna chill for a bit, maybe have a snack, but overall I'm just having like a pretty relaxed day slash evening. It's just been a good day, which is nice because like work was good and thus far everything else has been good, so we're good. <laughs> I have constantly, you probably can't see that, you can't, but I constantly have embroidery thread everywhere on my person. Like, it was in my pockets the other day, and I don't even know why. Anyways, I'm going to tidy up, and then, I don't know, maybe climb into bed early, maybe put on a movie? Who knows? All of a sudden, I am getting very sleepy, which is, I mean, probably a good thing, because it is a 5 to 10. I don't know what happened. I was chilling. It was, like, 8.30, and all of a sudden, it's almost 10. So, I think it's definitely time to go to bed. I have to work tomorrow, but then I... Is, what is tomorrow? Is tomorrow... Oh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Ugh. I thought tomorrow was Thursday. I have to work tomorrow and Thursday, and then I get Friday off before I work again on Saturday. <laughs> okay. Well, this is less exciting than I thought it would be. Anyways, I should go to sleep because it's a long week. I mentioned this earlier this week. So, with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.